welcome back everyone and this is the third episode of my animation series for flutter and as i told you in the beginning that uh, we will start from very basic examples to some complex ones so um today we will see a complex example how we can achieve that kind of animation and uh, because i don't want to put you in that situation where you will not understand even a single thing so it's not going to be like that that's why we started from episode one which was very basic just about uh, explaining some stuff about uh, what is animation what is animation control and all that then this in the second episode we saw um a very kind of what we said is animation or something like that now today we are going to see some real world animations and uh, uh, the first animation which i want to show you and which i want to um explain you how you can achieve that is this let me just show you via a video so if you'll see this animation then maybe it uh, so okay we will start again so this is not the start and uh, now this is the start this is so as you can see this brick is uh, there are some four bricks which are like tapping on each other and then making them animate something like this okay but this is not actually the tapping this is actually uh, there is some interval in which these uh, widgets are actually or these bricks are actually animating in some kind of interval and uh, they are actually if you'll see properly then they are actually animating in two direction one is the clockwise direction and one is another one is the um, anti-clockwise direction so um, that's what we are going to achieve and uh, because see this is not that much complex you have to just use your mind to achieve this okay so um what we are going to do so basically we will make a new uh, class or maybe we can say a new file and let's say we call it brick and in dot dart okay and here we will import first of all material dot dart then we will make a stateful widget okay and we can just call it brick page now uh, in the brick page we have a container and uh, what we want here we want um, a container exactly and uh, we can give it a height let's say 10 okay and then uh, we can uh, give it a width let's say 40 correct and uh, then what we can do let me just uh, replace the home page to brick page okay and uh, uh, we can import it and rather than just container we can wrap it in fact and we can wrap it with a scaffold probably okay and uh, here in the child we can replace it with the body then we can give an app bar where we can give a text let's say animation series brick okay something like this might work and let's uh, run this first and we will see what we get and then what we will do we will um, try to achieve all those four bricks and then uh, we will un animate them one by one and uh, for understanding it uh, you have to just watch my first video and then you can relate with all the terms which I would be using otherwise it can be a little bit difficult for you so as you can see right now we don't have anything but we have this container but let's put it in the center or maybe give it a color so for the color part let's give it a color of green and let's put it in the center so now it should be visible yes this is what we have now i want to give it a border so i can decorate it and i'll give the box decoration then i can give some border radius and let's give it a radius of 15 maybe okay and now let's remove the color from here because we are giving the decoration so we need to specify the color here now so now it should look something like this and this is looking much better and uh, this is what we want to achieve for four times so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this container from here okay and uh, what i'm going to do is let's remove it from here and make an another stateless class which i can say just brick and i'll just paste that container from there to here and then we can use this brick okay and this looks cool i guess and this is fine now um, in the center part what we can do rather than this brick we can use a row okay 
and then in the children we can have uh, some four bricks so let's put it like this and then we have these bricks okay now let's move it to the center so I hope you all know all of these and now we have these four bricks but uh, they don't have any kind of uh, margin so let's uh, give them some kind of margin okay so from the left I guess double margin left if we can give something like this and then in the brick we can make it optional first of all and by default we can give it some margin like 15 okay will it work yes so we have to give the margin here as well so we just want to give it the margin from the left so we can just say margin left and this looks much better now right guys and now we want to animate them so what what can be the best way for animating them so what i'm going to do first of all because this is a state class so we'll write ticker provider state mixin as you know okay and yeah this fine now uh, we want an animation controller obviously so we can write something like this animation controller animation controller and then we want an animation okay so we, we can ask for a twin animation because uh, that's what we need then we will uh, go to the init state method and inside this method what we have to do we have to initialize this animation controller obviously and uh, uh, here we can give a vsync value so vsync is this and then we have to specify a duration so duration is in seconds let's give it five seconds for the first time and then we are done now for the twin part we want to start it from let's say twin is equal to uh, twin okay the beginning should be from 0.0, .0 obviously and the end from is to 1.0 so this is our uh, going to be interval okay and then we want to animate it okay so we can just say curved animation or whatever you want to call it but right now we don't need it we just want the twin value okay and uh, now um what i want i want this brick to animate okay so uh what i'm going to do here is that um let's do one thing let's uh so uh I, i'll just show you the video again and then i'll show you that how this animation is exactly working okay so if you will watch the video again let me just try to run that video again okay so if you will watch this video one more time from maybe uh here so you will see that this is two animations one from the uh, left to right and then no, from the right to left and then left to right and then it covers two steps okay then this is the third step from here to here then this is the fourth step and this is the fifth and sixth okay then this is the seventh and this is the eighth so there are total eight steps okay let me just show you again this is the first and this is the second okay this is third this is the fourth this is the fifth till here and then this is the sixth and then this is the seventh and this is the eighth okay but their direction can be different so this is let's say this is the anti-clockwise first of all then it is clockwise then it is anti-clockwise then it is clockwise then it is anti-clockwise till here and then also it is anti-clockwise then it is anti-clockwise and then it is anti-clockwise okay so this is how it is working so that's what i wanted to show you that there are eight different intervals and what's happening is let me just show you one more time so that you can relate actually what's happening so if i'll show you again then you will see uh let me just go here okay so if you will just see here this is uh, two animation at once step one and step two step three is this then this is the step four and then this is the step five and six 
so first uh, this first brick is performing two animation one and two the last one is performing two animation five and six but this third one is animating for the um, you can say fourth and uh, uh, seventh and this second one is performing third and eighth okay so we have to remember the numbers so now we will make some steps here so uh, let's say we have this animation okay and now the first step okay so uh, first animation so anim1 okay so one first animation is the tween okay we can say dot animate and we can give it a curved animation which takes a curve okay so curve and we can give it an interval okay so first value will be start from 0, 0.0 and uh, we will go to 0, 0.125 okay this is the first value then it takes a parent where we will specify the animation controller obviously then it can also take a reverse curve if you want or if you don't want then it's totally your choice then it also takes something like this no oh, it's fine so this is our curve animation and uh, then i guess uh, this interval can take something no uh, this can also take a curve so if you want you can specify a curve like curves dot linear or whatever curve you want so we want a linear curve so far so this is our first animation which will be performed by first brick okay so we will just copy it and in the second interval which is the anim2 it will start from 1 to 5 and it will go to 2 5 0 or 2 5 okay so this will also be done by first brick so i am just also writing which animation will be performed by which brick so i will write brick one and then for this i will write brick one because both of these animation will be performed by brick one then i'll copy this and the third one which is anim3 it will be started by brick two and it will start from 0 0.250 0 to 375 okay and this will, will be done by brick two then brick 2 will not do anything because it, it will perform only one animation the fourth one or we can say and this fourth one it will be performed from 0 0.375 to 5 okay and this will be performed by brick 3 similarly the fourth one um, I guess this is fine oh, I missed something yes okay so this is the brick 3 will perform the fourth animation then um, the fifth one the fifth one will be performed from 0 0.5 to um, 6 to 5 correct we are taking the inter uh, difference of 1 0 0.125 and now this will be performed by brick 4 correct and similarly the sixth animation let me just copy this whole and the sixth animation will also be performed by brick 4 because then it will go in the reverse order and it will start from 6 to 5 to 7 5 0 okay and then the seventh one anim 7 will be done by brick 3 okay and it will go from 7 5 0 to 875 I guess and the last one which is the eighth one okay let me just copy it again which is the eighth one will be done by brick 2 and it will start from 875 and it will complete it to 1.0 and that's what we I did, uh, declared in the beginning that the animation will start from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 now it's our way of dividing it further so we are dividing into eight parts depending on the which brick will execute which animation okay so we have eight animations now now uh, this brick should um, do something okay it will rotate or it will do something like this so what we are going to do we will make another state uh, let's say we can make an, another class animated brick okay which will extend animated widget so that we can perform 
or when we use animated widget if you remember I told you that if you have to perform same animation more than once or maybe you have uh, some list of animations then you can use animated widgets it can be very helpful okay so now we will use rather than using this brick we will use this animated brick okay so we will use the brick here and we will replace these bricks with the animated brick okay let's delete this and three three four so now if i will just hot reload it then i guess there will be some issues let's hot restart it because what's the error that it should have some listenable in its uh, super constructor so um uh, sorry super method so what we are going to do now um now this is the animated brick now this animated brick will take final uh, animated controller because it wants an animate animation controller so it will have a controller then it will have some animation so uh, there for for every brick there are two animations so that's why we are taking list of animations correct then if we want to specify some extra margin or something like that then it will take some margin of left if you want it now uh, we will make a con uh, constructor animated brick and then we can just say key key okay this dot controller this dot animations this dot margin left correct and then in the super one we can just give key to key and in the listenable part we can pass the controller that's what we need to do and now if i'll just perform the hot restart it should work not oh because we are not still not passing the controller and all so here we can just pass so for animation so the first brick if you remember for the first brick uh, this first brick takes anim2 and anim1 okay so we will pass uh, in the animations part we will pass anim1 and anim2 because these are two animation which will be performed by this animated brick okay now um, it will uh, give the controller as animation controller for sure and then for the margin left uh, we don't want any margin I guess so we can just pass 0, 0.0 or even we can leave, leave it like this okay doesn't matter now um, the same thing will happen for all these fours so I'm just pasting the code four times now the second brick will take the animation 3 obviously and if you will just see that that second brick is also taking anim8 so we will pass anim8 Similarly for this, we, it will take anim4 and anim7 if you remember what I explained and last one will take anim5 and anim6 it depends on the order of animation okay so this is just the order of animation and then we will take anim6 now uh, this is fine this is now on its right position now what I want to do this brick uh, we can pass the margin as well here so margin left whatever margin we are getting okay and uh, for the third because we want to perform the animation from the so we can specify margin of 30 i guess would be fine for these two okay do we have something still fine why we have some error now i don't know okay we are missing something maybe let's change the anim val margin value and let's see if that works just start project i guess everything is fine why it is not working i don't know okay let's remove the margin for the time being because it's not working uh it should work now oh it's it's totally not working now so we need to probably uh, restart the app so we'll, what we will do we will restart the app i hope um, you were able to understand what we are actually doing so far so um what we have done we have take 
uh, took eight orders of animation in form of interval and then we are passing this animation to this brick uh, according to that uh, particular time period and then okay this is something wrong here i don't know what's the issue here um let me just see if we missed something or if we added something i don't think we have done anything wrong so far so it was working earlier and this is this looks fine this looks fine to me i don't know what actually happened let's try again okay let's try to see the error okay let's just don't waste uh, our time in just uh, identifying okay so what kind of error it is let me just see if we can fix it easily uh, this some painting related error okay which is which we are getting for this brick obviously this brick has some issue and maybe this can be the margin i don't know if that's the issue. yeah this is the margin and if i okay so um we are getting some kind of margin issue so if we are not passing any kind of margin then maybe it's not taking it lightly <laughs> i don't know what's the problem with this but because we are providing a margin of 15 already so it should not be a problem and uh, i guess what it wants it is giving this margin and this margin is blank okay so this can be the reason so let's give some margin first of all okay so let's give it 15 let's give it 15 as well let's give it 15 as well let's give it 15 as well oh it's fine let's make it 30 so that's a problem that was giving them the null margin right <laughs> okay so this is fine this looks much better now um i have wasted a few sec few minutes maybe for you now we have to perform some animation some good animation so what we are going to do we will um, wrap this uh, with a new widget which is our transform widget okay now we want to rotate it with the help of z axis to achieve that animation so if you remember we have some transform okay where we can use this matrix for to calculate okay so um, we can just write first transformation because we will uh, do two kinds of transformation okay so for first transformation i can just say matrix for matrix for first transformation okay and it will take an animation okay and what it will return it will return this matrix for dot uh, rotation z and what we will do we will use this animation value animation dot value okay if we can get not right now and then we will multiply it by uh, math dot pi which is 180 degrees so we need to import math first so we will import math as math and then if you will see here we have this math dot pi now and we will multiply it by um, 2.0 so what will be the value so it's 180 into 2 which is 360 degree usually okay and as soon as this value will change so it's uh, at the end it will be 1 so it will be 360 degree so it will be back to its original position and by that time it will uh, take a round from 0 0.0 to uh, whatever position okay and then we will multiply it by 0 0.5 because we want uh, the half of it so uh, we don't want to rotate it 360 degree we want half of it will be it will be again 180 degree okay so then you will see those animation in 180 degree format okay i don't know if you understood that so this is our first transformation okay and uh, oh so this is not the first transformation this is the clockwise when we are uh, running it clockwise okay so clockwise would be when uh, you are achieving the 180 degree oh, okay 180 degree of this animation which means if it is moving like this if you just see the cursor it will move like this 
okay and it will go back to its position and then it will move like this so uh, the full part in the full part it will cover the 360 degree in two parts so this will be our first transformation so for first transformation we can just say that v variable first transformation what it is so first transformation is actually the clockwise direction and the animation would be we will take the list of animation and pass the first value so this animations has two values one is the animation let's say for the first animation one and animation two so first time for this first transformation what we want we want to apply first transformation we will do it clockwise for first animation okay i know it's a little bit i don't know if i can explain this but uh, this is what i mean is that for the transformation we are passing first transformation which is a clockwise of the first animation okay so that means the first animation if we go is from 0.0, .0 okay to 0 0.125 and which is for brick one so this is our let's say brick one and now if i will perform the hot restart no animation performed because uh, we have not started our animation and we want it to repeat so here what i can say i can say animation controller dot repeat okay and then in the dispose also let's also use the dispose to dispose the animation okay so it should be here dispose and then we can just say animation controller dot dispose okay now if i'll just do the hot restart then you will see some animation i guess and this is see this is what we want okay but oh this is looking so bad right now um, but this is what we want for first not for second third and fourth okay so first of all they are changing their um oh this is looking so bad they are changing their position so what we want we want their alignment to be correct so i'll take another field here which is let's say uh, alignment okay and alignment and we will pass this alignment this dot alignment and i can say alignment dot center right we want to make it because right okay okay what happened this is fine no alignment dot what's the problem am i missing something oh we missed this bracket okay this is fine now um we will pass the alignment from here so for first one we can say something like alignment dot center left because it's the first one then for everything it should be fine and then in the transform we can pass this alignment as well so alignment right it should work now and this is looking much better yes this is looking much better as you can see now we have to just adjust the first one and then everything will work okay now uh, this is the first transformation but we want to animate the first brick for the second time as well so we will wrap it again with a new widget which is again transform but this time what we will do we will um, transform it for the second transformation okay so second transformation and we will also give it an alignment the same alignment now we have to make that second transformation so i'll just copy it and i'll paste it here and then um, i'll pass this second transformation here and rather than animation zero this time i will provide animation one so that it can perform the two animation i'll do a hot restart and then we will see so you will see this one 30 uh, 360 degree animation for first second third fourth and now we have to just uh, change their uh, like way of doing animation by specifying if someone has to do clockwise animation or anti-clockwise so how we will do that so we will take another uh, boolean here let's say final boolean 
if it is clockwise or not okay so if it is clockwise so what we are going to do so first one would be if you remember if you will just watch the video again so let's watch it again so that we can get the idea so I'll just go to the first one so you can see this is clockwise this is anti-clockwise this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise okay so first one is clockwise so what we can say is clockwise one second guys so I'll take this value this dot is clockwise okay and then first one if you remember it is clockwise so we will make it true correct and the second one is actually false because it is not clockwise third one is again clockwise and fourth one is uh, anti-clockwise so for clockwise we are doing this for anti-clockwise we can write something like anti and what we will do we will just take the minus value of this whatever value comes so this will give us the anti-clockwise and we will check if uh, if it is is clockwise is true is clockwise is true then only we will do this otherwise else we will not use the clockwise rather we will use the anti-clockwise okay this is fine okay and now what we can do we will do a hot restart and now let's see what happens so now you will see oh this is taking the turn oh this is fine so animations are working fine but their distance is little bit a problem okay so how we will fix that so what I'm going to do rather than the margin let's just remove this margin it's not looking good and let's give it something like this okay let's try to perform a hot reload and this is looking much better right okay so this is what you can see what we achieved here is that this brick is having this animation controller this twin which is from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 and it is repeating for animation 1 which is for brick 1 it is from 0 so when the time is 0, 0.0 to 1.2 0 0.125 then first animation will work for brick 1 then for the next interval this anim 2 will work for brick 1 so as you can see brick 1 is doing two kind of animation and then similarly for second brick third brick there are some set of animations which will be done in some intervals and then we are using in animated brick we are providing whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise and then in the animated brick part we are just uh, using this matrix 4 dot rotation z to rotate around the z axis and uh, then you we are just uh, calculating its value how it is going to uh, go in the round and then we are using two transformation widgets to perform these two animations easily and this is our brick a normal brick so this is how you will achieve this animation let's make it a little bit faster rather than uh, five seconds let's make it one second and then we will see the pace it just goes so you can see this is happening now in one second no it's still not happening I guess let's try to hot restart it again and this is the one second okay this is not looking that cool so we can make it let's say three seconds that would be much better I guess I hope and then let's do a hot restart and yes this is much better and now if you want you can change the color as well so let's change the bricks color to something called red if you want to give them give them gradients or something it's totally your call whatever you want to do with this so this is how you can achieve animations 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then do like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And also, make sure to check out the repository and give it a star where I have uploaded this on GitHub. You can check the link in the description and uh, join the Let's Flutter with Dart group on Facebook if you want to uh, ask more questions other than face uh, on YouTube comments and if you want to make people solve your problem then also you can join that group and uh, that's it I mean I hope that you and you are enjoying your uh, this animation series about flutter if you have any kind of suggestion or if you are really enjoying this then do comment your views on these series and thank you so much for joining bye bye take care keep fluttering and have fun